Hi everyone, we're here in Studio 360 at F5 App World 2024 in San Jose, California. This is F5's premier application security and delivery conference. Now, I'm joined by Kara Sprague from F5. Everybody at F5 knows who you are, Kara, and a lot of people in the industry know who you are. However, I'll give you an opportunity to introduce yourself if you could. Thanks, Boo. I'm excited to be here. I am F5's Chief Product Officer. So that means that I am responsible for F5's entire portfolio of products and services. And I, I oversee the engineering, product management, and product marketing teams. Fantastic. OK, cool. This is going to be a great conversation because we really get to dive into what F5 is doing, what this entire thing is going to be all about. So let's start with that. Over the past few years, F5 has changed. Mm -hmm. We've made acquisitions. You've been very strategic about those ones as well. You know, a lot of us internally, we see the vision because you tell us about the vision. Um, and people in the keynotes that have attended those have been able to see the vision as well. But for the purposes of this video, let's talk through that vision if we could. Yeah, sure. I think so. I'll get to how F5 has transformed, but let me just highlight a few of the ways that the world has changed. So mm -hmm. when, you, when we talk about the world has changed, we've got uh, apps and APIs are now distributed across these multiple infrastructure environments. Apps are now increasingly fronted by a growing array of, of public APIs. We have the enterprise adoption of AI starting now, and you know, we'll see that unfold over the coming 12 to 24 months. So there's a lot that has changed in our, our customers' worlds and in the worlds of their app and API portfolios. And just as those needs have changed, F5 has dramatically transformed ourselves. So, you know. Even six years ago, I think most people would consider F5 to be a, a hardware ADC specialist. Uh, we still had uh, just under 90% of our product revenue was coming from traditional kind of hardware perpetual sales into on-prem environments. And what you see from F5 today uh, and, and really what we're sharing with our customers at AppWorld 2024 is a new F5. F5 is a, a security and a software-led multi-cloud platform provider. We are the only solution provider that secures, delivers, and optimizes any app, any API, anywhere. And we are making our customers ready for AI mm -hmm. with more solutions that will help them secure their own AI workloads and also apply AI to improve their operations. Awesome. Very cool. I think this is really important for customers as well because they're wondering what should we do and who can we trust and yeah. who's getting ready for that. So they can rest assured F5 is ready. Um, as far as our portfolio now kind of diving into apps and APIs, how are we making that easier for our customers? Well, so each of our product families in the portfolio, and we have three, there's F5 Distributed Cloud Services, we have F5 Nginx, and we have F5 Big IP. Mm -hmm. Each of those offerings help our customers with their hybrid and multi-cloud needs, albeit for different parts of their application portfolio. So when we look at things like Distributed Cloud, that is the SaaS and Managed Services arm of F5, and we're offering a bunch of our application delivery, security, and connectivity services as SaaS on Distributed Cloud. But the special thing about distributed cloud is that customers can deploy that as well into their on-prem environments, basically by extending our, our service cloud, our, our distributed cloud services mesh into different environments. So it's super, super cool. Um, Nginx, obviously, uh, is um, the target for modern applications. So we have application delivery and security on top of Nginx for modern apps. And then Big IP, of course, is application delivery and security capabilities for more traditional apps. Uh, both Big IP and Nginx extend across on-prem and cloud environments. Mm. You have used the word and a bunch, and I realize in the keynote you've yes. been using the word and. I think you've trained yourself, maybe trained a bunch of us as well on talking about the power of F5 and and. Can you talk more about that? Yeah, so when I reflect back on the history of enterprise IT, um, you know, I, this, is, this is an area I have a lot of interest in and how it's evolved, but wh what I see is that the history of enterprise IT is always about adding. It's always about adding new architectures, new capabilities. You don't see companies have moved from mainframes to, you know, client server models, there's a lot of companies that are still running mainframes. And similarly with the rise of containers, people have not moved from, from traditional apps to containers. They're now operating all of them. And so it's always about the addition. And so that's why we're, uh, the power of AND is really important for F5 and, and what we bring to our customers. And so it's talking about traditional apps and modern container na native apps, about your on-premise deployments and your public cloud deployments and SaaS and Edge. It's about app security and app delivery and app connectivity. It's about hardware and software and SaaS. It's about you know, perpetual consumption, subscription, and utility. 
offering all of those options is what we see is going to be needed to provide customers an ability to make their operations ridiculously easy. Fantastic. And just a little bit around um, stuff that you've been cooking up as chief product officer. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have to hide some of that stuff as you're working on it. And now at AppWorld, you get to announce some of that stuff. And some of that stuff is around AI. So maybe you can speak to those things. Yeah, it is really exciting. Um, the, the three major points that, that we are highlighting here at AppWorld uh, include API security. F5 is going big on API security. We now have the industry's most comprehensive AI-ready API security solution on the market. And that's because we have API security that covers API code scanning and testing. We have API security that covers traffic analysis. Our API security covers uh, protection and enforcement. All of those are available in a single platform, the F5 distributed cloud platform. And so that is what makes it the most comprehensive. If you, if you look at other API security solutions, they cannot cover all of those bases. So that's a really important um, capability that we're highlighting here. And, and we're really um, uh, hoping customers walk away from AppWorld really understanding the importance of securing their APIs. So that's point number one. Um, then we have a, a, a uh, announcement that we're ma we've made about something called the F5 AI data fabric. Yes. That is also a very exciting capability. And what it is, is it enables customers to stream their telemetry and data uh, from all of their F5 product families, you know, big IP, Nginx, and distributed cloud services into a single data lake. Uh, and use, uh, using F5's security tools and using our uh, delivery capabilities get better insights using that data. Um, and so it's really starting to put, put together uh, how F5 is going to be using all of our, our product families in a holistic way to improve customers' app delivery and app security stances. Mm. Um, and then the third thing that we announced this week is the coming of our AI assistant, mm. um, which will be embedded into the F5 distributed cloud console. And the idea is to give customers a natural language interface to interrogate that data that's landing in the AI data fabric, and also help them uh, basically have another pair of arms and legs to do a lot of the tasks that are really important to them. So ask it questions like, hey, F5 uh, assistant, can you tell me which of my applications are not protected by API security, or which of my APIs are not protected by API security solutions today? Mm. And it would come back and say, okay, we'll hear your API endpoints that we've detected, both from looking at your code as well as looking at your network traffic analysis. Here are the things that are out there that are exposed. Mm. Uh, you can ask it, okay, well, what, what kind of protections should I be thinking about putting in place on this kind of application? And we'll provide you know, best practices around that. So we're really, really excited about that capability um, because we recognize uh, our, our our customers and, and the users of, of these tools, the, the network operators, the security operators, the developers, they are already overloaded by the complexity that we've been talking about. And so let's use AI solutions and help really give them a way of uh, getting a much more comprehensive view and, and enable them to actually uh, assess their portfolios in a much more holistic way. Yeah. Do you think we'll uh, see a job posting that says instead of F5 engineer, it'll be F5 prompt engineer? <laughs> It's very possible, <laughs> yes. But, but you know, I think over the course of the last year or so, as we've seen a lot of these uh, uh, natural languages, uh, natural language interfaces pop up, yeah. you know, you're, you we're starting to see a lot of UI best practices, like mm. here are the prompts that you can ask me. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we won't require our customers to hire too many of those. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so let's put you in the hot seat for a second. Chief Product Officer, you know what's on the roadmap. What can you tell us about the future of F5? Future of F5 is very bright. Um, and I'll start, I'll, start, I'll start with the place where you know, many customers have an intimate uh, familiar, familiarity with F5, which is our Big IP franchise. Uh, we have so much exciting innovation in Big IP, which is generally available today. Uh, we have a new generation of, of F5 systems between our Velos chassis and blade form factor and the R series appliances. Um, those have been out for the last, call it 24 months, and we have uh, a large number of our customers have already completed their transition from the last generation to this. So Velos, Velos is the next generation from Viprion, and R series is the next generation from I series. Um, that is the systems side, and, and very exciting. A lot of innovation in the systems, including multi-tenancy, uh, much more um, API-driven in terms of automatable, uh, and a lot more uh, ease of use for customers. So that's very, very exciting, and of course, price performance improvements. Um, then we get into the big IP software, and the, the next big thing coming in big IP software is literally big IP next. 
Uh, at F5, sometimes we are creative with namings, <laughs> and other times we're just more descriptive. Um, Big IP Next is super, super exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, taken on our ambition of making app security and delivery ridiculously easy, and we have applied that to Big IP. So Big IP Next is a re-architecture of the Big IP software. Uh, we started and left the, the core data plane component of TMM. Uh, it is the same thing. You can still run the same iRules. You still have all the protocols you want. Uh, it still has all of the capabilities that our customers use today in TMM because we know that customers need this backwards compatibility. But we've significantly remodeled the control plane around that data plane uh, and made the control plane much more scalable much more secure, uh, and also uh, enhance the usability of the whole thing. So things like automated upgrades, we've done that. Mm. Uh, we have things like iRules versioning and semantic validation on iRules and bulk deployments. Um, we have uh, the flexibility to use templates and customizations. And so everything that we've looked at with Big IP is how do we make this easier for our customers? Mm. Now, so that's the Big IP franchise. Uh, in Nginx, the, the new things coming down the pipe is Nginx 1. Nginx 1 is, is going to unify the management of all of the Nginx da data planes through a capability within the F5 distributed cloud console. And so it's probably the most real uh, example of where we're converging our product lines and really bringing to life our vision of saying, look, if you're a customer and you're, you're comfortable with a SaaS-based uh, capability here, you can actually experience the entire F5 portfolio through the F5 distributed cloud console. And then on F5 Distributed Cloud, um, we're talking about a couple of really, really cool things. Um, they are actually more here today rather than roadmap. Uh, but we are talking about web app and API uh, protection. And, and I already shared you know, the big news around the API security. And we are also talking about our multi-cloud networking capability, which we see as very differentiated in the market because it's both application-led and security first. Um, so where other multi-cloud networking players really only connect the infrastructure across these distributed environments, F5 solution does that, plus we also connect the applications that run on that infrastructure. Um, and so in distrib distributed cloud, where the, where the roadmap is heading is basically continuing to um, improve the capabilities in WAP and MCN, as well as building out more and more capabilities in app security and delivery and connectivity so that customers can use distributed cloud as a full platform to finally simplify and consolidate all of these different functions that they use different vendors and tools for. Awesome. It's such an exciting time to yeah. be at F5, to hear that as well, reinforce that with everybody through the keynotes and all the conversations that are happening here. I can't see how anybody could come away from App World without being excited about the future for F5. So thank you for building that, Kara. Uh, thank you, Kara, for joining me for this conversation. Uh, and thank you to everyone for watching. You can find more videos from F5 App World when you follow us on LinkedIn, X, YouTube, and on F5.com. And otherwise, we'll see you on the next one.